All right, everybody, we are fresh off the upsetting Lily box, and we're gonna open the Owl Crate box, which is, I don't know when, October 2021. And here was the spoiler card from last month, because I haven't cleaned up my filming area. Okay, what did we get? Oh, hi, everybody, welcome back. I don't ever reintroduce myself because the name is in the is in the what title I have ADHD I practice meditation and daily I got to be a better person type vibes through witchcraft type of activities which means herbalism meditation mm this smells good and then what I do is I use the boxes that I get to focus what I'm going to think about or meditate on. Not so much the book boxes. I just think reading is magical. So that's why I get these. Um, this is a Shadow of the Fox inspired candle. Don't know what that is. I don't follow the YA. I'm more of an adult reader slash nonfiction reader. But I have come to love the young adult genre because it's got all the magic and all the fantasy and all the oh okay I thought this was going to be exciting because the tin is really cute sewing kit what I need is a nail kit you checking that out gross so gross all right well okay a sewing kit and a cute tin um the pin If you like pins, I'm sure that's pretty. Okay, what is this? I only have one arm to open. Add a little of the magic of Middle Earth to your decor with this acrylic dis ugh, display featuring a hand-lettered rendition of the Riddle of Strider. Boy, it's been a long time since I've read that book. don't remember anything from it. So what I will do with this is what I normally do with things so the the fan stuff the tchotchkes I'm not really I don't oh this is hard to get in so I'm not going to put it in what I do with these is I will put them gather them all up and when there's a bunch of middle earth type things and I'll put them in a box and I will sell them on no no a puzzle um okay <laughs> okay these books these boxes are also about fifty dollars so when you get a puzzle, what do you guys think? 300 piece puzzle, Call of the Dawn, Call of the Dawn, right? Inspired by Call of the Dawn. Okay. So anyway, what I'll do is this will go in a box to be resold. This will go in a box to be resold. This always resold. This, I might keep the tin maybe. And this teeny, weeny, weeny, weeny candle. So I don't burn candles in tins normally because they get really, really, really super hot. Um, so that might go in a box. Might not. We'll see. I mean, I can put it on some wood protectant that I have. But normally, when they're so small like that, I just don't even... So you guys might either get a chance to win it or buy it on my eBay store. All right, so here is the what? The author letter? Oh, she's beautiful. Um, I do read the author letters. I love learning about new authors. To me, <laughs> I appreciate everyone's artwork. But um, so the romancy type stuff, I am not into. Just don't care. So that normally goes in a box or as a freebie or something. Um, and if it's a romance type book, I'm not going to read it. So these will go on, um, probably on eBay. I don't like they shrink wrap these. Well, actually, I do like them because they get they stay protected. Unlike a Luma crate, they don't shrink wrap them. And every Luma crate I have gotten has been a little bit damaged. So there you go. That's the October box, a book, a sewing kit. A pin, a teeny weeny candle. It does smell good. A 
tchotchke, and a puzzle. $50. Ish. 44 plus shipping. So, hmm, what do you guys think? Is that exciting? Do you like it? Is that worth it to you? Is there something that you see that you're like, hey, I'll buy that from you? <laughs> or are you just going to wait for the boxes? Okay, that's October. Owl crate. See you soon.